hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in this video we will be discussing about part b all the questions of part b and especially of physical chemistry okay so i will be solving in brief like in short i will tell you how to solve questions and what are the correct answer for them okay so i will be solving all the uh, questions which are asked from physical chemistry in part b in this video okay okay so this question says that uh, the elementary step of the reaction is given here and they have asked that if a steady state approximation is applicable on C then what is the rate of product formation okay like these type of questions I have already done in my video where I have explained what this is steady state approximation is okay if you haven't watched that video here is the link for that you can go and watch that in detail okay I'll tell you how to do this okay so for the first step we have A plus B uh, and one side and other side is C okay so we'll apply that rate of formation okay is equals to rate of loss okay so th for that rate of formation of C okay so that will be uh, that will be k1 a and b and rate of loss of C is k minus 1 and C square okay so now we have to find out the value of C so for C we'll get k1 upon k minus 1 a b and the powers will be 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 okay the rate of the reaction will be the rate will be given by k2 c square okay so we'll just put the value of c over here from this step so we'll get k2 sorry here we'll be having also power this okay so that doesn't matter because we don't have to worry about the rate constants so we'll just put the value here so it will be k1 upon k2 sorry k1 upon k minus 1 to the power 1 by 2 a to the power 1 by 2 and b to the power 1 by 2 and just square of all this thing so when you square this the under root will go by and you will get k2 k1 upon k minus 1 a and b okay so the rate is given by this equation that means the rate is proportional to a into b a and b okay so powers are one only so the correct option for this question is option number one so in this way this question has to be done okay let's move on to the other question okay so the next question they have asked you about the term symbol of ground state of b2 molecule okay so if you have watched my video on uh, uh, how to calculate the term symbol molecular term symbol you would have done this question very easily because it was uh, somewhat directly from there okay so if you haven't watched that video the, here is the link for that you can go and watch that video okay it was very nice video and lots of question like two questions one of two marks and one of three marks was asked from this that video okay so let's solve this so for b2 molecule if you will do the electronic configuration you will get sigma 1s 2 sigma star 1s 2 sigma 2s 2 sigma star 2s 2 we have 10 molecule uh, 10 electrons here okay so 8 are done then uh, pi 2 p x 1 and pi 2 p y 1 okay so like that so now for the value of um, spin multiplicity for the value of spin multiplicity that is 2s plus 1 when we'll do that so we have half air and half air so we'll have the value of s will be how much the value of s will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and into 2 and plus 1 so overall you will get 3 so the spin multiplicity is 3 the value of uh, lambda okay so sorry the value of that uh, uh, okay the value of lambda that is given by uh, for lambda is equals to 0 we have sigma lambda 1 we have pi lambda 2 we have um, delta and for 3 we have phi okay so we'll find out the value of lambda so how to find out the value of lambda see we uh, in that video i have told that we have three orbitals px py and pz okay so for this its value is plus 1 0 and minus 1 so since both of your electrons are in this px and py so plus 1 and minus 1 will give you 0 so the value of lambda is 0 so the term will be sigma okay now let's come on to the g rate or ng rate now since both of your uh, like okay so here is here it is okay i'll just write the parity of them so it is g rate it is ng rate it is g rate it is ng rate it is ng rate it is ng rate okay so both of your electrons is in ungeared and ungeared into ungeared will give you geared so the parity will be geared spin multiplicity we got 3 okay now let's 
check out for the sign okay so what will be the sign since the electron is in pi orbital so the sign will be minus okay so the electron is in pi orbital that's why we have minus sign so the term symbol for this will be 3 sigma g minus okay so the correct option will be option number uh, like this one 3 sigma means the third option okay okay so the next question was like a, a Gaussian equation was given and they have asked you about to find out the variance of such distribution okay so this going in this question whenever a Gaussian equation is given like this the term which is given in the denominator to the power e to the power okay that will be the that will be the variance okay okay so when you will see in this equation uh, the the thing which is given in the denominator of e to the exponential okay the denominator of power of exponential that is the variance so variance will be a square so the correct option for this will be a square okay so coming to the next question that was asked that the change in entropy of a reversible adiabatic process is so first thing is that the process is reversible the process is reversible that is the entropy will not change okay then the change in entropy is zero and other thing is that the process is adiabatic also that means there is no loss of heat or no loss of gain okay Me oh, sorry means the heat exchange is also not possible so this uh, for a reversible adiabatic process the change in entropy is zero okay so the correct option for this question will be third this i have given in my video where i have discussed like a revision class okay for the thermodynamics so in that i have discussed about it okay if you have watched that video it would have you would have done this question easily now coming to the next question that is on electrochemistry so electrochemistry question this was very simple question very easy one okay the equation was given and they were asked you to find out the gibbs free energy to find out gibbs free energy we have formula delta g is equals to minus n f e so the value of n will be the number of electrons which are uh, like which are lost or gained during the reaction so you can see that two electrons are lost okay so n is equal to 2 the value of f is already given and e is also given here okay so when you will put all these value you will get uh, minus 212 kilojoule per mole okay so this was the correct option so for 52 the correct option is third one okay so the next question says that if the unit of rate constant of reaction is l cube m mole to the power minus 1 second to the power minus 1 minus 3 and second to the power minus 1 then the order of the reaction is now if you have watched my video on chemical kinetics uh, the revision video which i have just made like two weeks one week of, uh, before the csr exam in that i have given a shortcut to find out the uh, rate constant okay the uh, sorry the unit the unit of rate constant that says that l to the power um, 1 minus n uh, it was sorry it was l to the power n minus 1 and mole to the power n minus 1 and second inverse it sorry it was 1 minus n okay so it was like that so n was the uh, order of the reaction so if you will put so we have n minus 1 is equals to 3 so n is equals to 4 so it gives that the reaction order of the reaction was 4 so the correct option for this was option number 4 okay, okay so going to the question says that the next question says that the lowest energy state of 1s1 and 2s1 electronic configuration according to the home rule is so when we will do this question so first of all the spin multiplicity will be so that is 1s1 and 2s1 okay so okay so the spin multiplicity will be 2s plus 1 similarly which we did earlier it will be 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 that will give you 3 okay and next is the value of l the value of l will be for s it is 0 0 plus 0 will give you 0 and for the value of j is given by for half field or the less less than half field we have l minus s okay so for l minus s we have 0 minus and the value of s is half plus half that is 1 so 0 minus 1 so since this is modulus of it so we will get 1 so the option will be 3s1 okay so correct option for this question will be option number 3 okay so this was the correct answer for this question moving to the next question 
okay so the next question says that the commutator of uh, position uh, position operator and hamiltonian okay is this so what is the value of this so if you have watched my video on hermitian operator where i have told uh, the the basic postulate of a hermitian operator is when see if you if a and b both are both uh, like it says that if both are hermitian then only they will commute okay it means a b is equals to zero if both are hermitian then only so here what is given is c check if these two are hermitian or not so in my video on hermitian operator if you will want there is the link for that so in that video i have told that with all the physically observable quantities okay like the position that is hermitian always hermitian and hamiltonian is sum of kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic and potential energy both are physically observable quantities physically observable quantities in classical physics okay or classical mechanics so the sum of those will be also hermitian so hamiltonian is also hermitian operator so the two hermitian operators uh, will always commute okay so this will be zero so the correct option for this question was option first that is zero okay so move on to the let's move on to the next question okay so this next question it was asked on the lattice point of fcc it was given that all the spheres touch each other then the fraction of volume occupied i, have, I haven't written the whole question but the question was there okay uh, about this so how to solve this type of question so what you have to do you have to first check like in the fcc uh, on the face uh, we have a molecule in the center okay atom at the center and at corners also all are touching each other and this length this length is equals to a root 2 so a root 2 is equals to 1 r these are radius okay so r r r and r that is 4 r so we have a relation between r and a means the side of side length of the uh, unit uh, let lattice uh, lattice side and the radius of uh, atom so if you will put r is equals to a root 2 by 4 and if you will put the fraction of the volume th so the uh, for fcc we have four atoms per unit cell okay per unit cell we have four atoms so if you put all these uh, data and you will put in the formula that is 4 atoms per unit cell into volume of one atom that is 4 by 3 pi r cube upon the side length okay so side cube so if you will put the value of r from here to here and then you will solve all these things i'm not solving i'm just telling you you put here and you solve it so you will get if you will solve and do then you will get option and that is uh, root 2 pi by 6 okay so this option is option number one so in this way this question has to be done okay okay so the next question was asked on the origin of colligative property for dilute solution so the property the colligative properties are those those properties which depends only on the number of solute and solvent molecules okay it does not depends on their properties or their chemical properties of uh, solute and solvent molecules okay so I think the option for this question should be interaction of solute and solvent molecules okay other options are not that relevant now coming to the next question that was asked that the graph that represent Langmuir adsorption isotherm so any one of you who have done Langmuir adsorption isotherm would have done it easily okay so the graph the correct graph for this is option number four so fourth option was the correct graph for this okay so let's move on to the last question last question was like for the correct match of coenzyme in column a with their function in column b so nadh nadh is a like nad is reduced to give nadh and nadh has a reducing property it means it reduces the uh, during the glycolysis okay so it reduces so it has function of reduction so for p we have third and similarly fad it it is it is reduced to fadh2 okay that means it has oxidation property see and if they have asked nad okay nad and fad both have a reduction property means both will do the sorry both will outdo um, both will reduce themselves that means they will oxidize the uh, reagent other thing okay so both will be having oxidation property but when we call talk about nadh so nadh will have reverse property of nad okay so that is that means nadh will have reduction property and FAD will have oxidation property. So we are left out with this COASH. Uh, so that will be second option. So 
P will be 3, Q will be 1. So P3, Q1 and R2. So correct option should be option number 2. One question was left, so I'll take that also. Okay, so this question says that in pure Raman rotational spectrum of 1602, whose electronic convent this? So they have asked you about this. So see, first of all, this molecule, this molecule which is given, it is uh, magnetically inactive. Okay, means uh, it has I value zero. Why? Because I have told uh, when I was uh, teaching uh, this. Um, physical NMR spectroscopy there I have told that uh, when we will if we divide the molecular mass of a molecule and we get it is divided by 4 then that it is directly divided by 4 okay if the molecular mass can be divided by 4 then those molecule will have I value 0 so for all those molecule which have I value 0 they have uh, abnormal Raman rotational spectrum okay and for all those the even J values are missing even J levels are missing okay so for this question uh, the correct option will be option number one okay so i have covered all the physical questions from part b i'll be soon uh, like uploading a video for physical questions of part c i'll be uploading questions of uh, inorganic also okay so if you haven't subscribed the channel subscribe it and that's all for the video thank you for watching have a good day thank you